How do stem cells placed in the knee know where to go? Good question. And here is the answer. This is a normal knee. On top, there is a femoral head. The end of the femur, the upper leg bone, is covered by a thin layer of very hard hyaline cartilage. Then between the femoral head and the top of the tibia is the medial meniscus, which is made up of fibrocartilage, a softer type of cartilage. And finally, the top of the tibia, the tibial plateau, is again covered by a thin layer of very tough and hard hyaline cartilage. Here's an osteoarthritic knee. There is frayed cartilage involving the femoral head and an area of bare bone here involving the tibial plateau. So here's what to do. Induce a small area of injury to create an inflammatory response to attract stem cells. So you make a very tiny hole in the areas where osteoarthritis is present, particularly in the areas of bare bone. And that's how stem cells placed into the knee know where to go because stem cells migrate to areas of injury. It looks like this. This is an area in the femoral head where there's bare bone and we've created a very small hole that looks large but it's only two millimeters in diameter and we've done the same in an area of bare bone involving the tibial plateau. For more information on how stem cells can help you if you have osteoarthritis of the knee, contact us at the Arthritis Treatment Center, 71 Thomas Johnson Drive, Frederick, Maryland, 21702. Our phone number is 301-694-5800, and you can reach us on the internet at www.arthritistreatmentcenter.com. That's www.arthritistreatmentcenter.com.